hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Feel like I'm out here by myself, but I'm not alone Designer don't mean shit, cause I got it on With a bad bitch, think she it, but she got it wrong Love it now, she calling on my phone I was destined for this shit like You already know what it is, man, salute to the NDAs in battle rap? Man, let's just get right to the subject at hand So, if you don't know, you know, so I, I like to bring you the, the news from his ghetto point of view You know what I'm saying? I see things and uh, I'll speak about them and I'll talk about Different things that are going on in the battle rap culture when they get important enough when people are talking You know and things like that, but it's mostly events and recaps and shout out to my brother Showtime as Pete, but um So this easy to block captain versus disaster battle. I didn't know I did not know that it would turn into all of this now you have ARPs getting involved going back and forth with disaster disasters pretty much standing on what he was saying as far as with the Rex situation, but Rex has already backed off of the situation saying that AR, yo, this is a mess, bro. This is, this, this is becoming a mess. Um, NDAs and battle rap, especially when it comes to like the content, the things that you could talk about, it's never gonna work. That will kill battle rap. That will kill, I ain't with it. I'm gonna just let y'all know that. So well, let's get that out the way. I don't fuck with it at all. Get out of here. Get out of here, man! Shit, I'm so easy. If you, if Diz is battling under an NDA, <laughs> that's saying that he can't say this, can't say that, can't talk about the money, can't talk about the like. Then what is he gonna talk about? What is he gonna talk about? So, I did see clips of Easy explaining that the NDA that was in place was because um, to explain the financials and. He can't say how much he got paid or what the situation was and all of that. I mean, okay, business is business. I see that perspective. But the paperwork that's been circling around and that people have been seeing in clips of, it says a whole lot of different things besides just the money. You know what I'm saying? From what I saw, it said something like you can't talk about the spouses, the kids, the business relationships, well, the this, no the that. Way. If that is true, then that's well, not no way, And I'm gonna be honest with you, if that's well, gonna be no way, anything that's even in play for a Geechee battle, nobody wants to see it. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is me being honest, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't calling around, trying to figure out, oh, well, what did this person say? What did that, I don't care. I really don't, I don't, I don't. Like, from my perspective, I will see a subject and I will attack it for just that, but, to be the best, if he, if he wants to be, be the number one or the, the best battle rapper in the world, you can't have an NDA. People will have to be able to talk about whatever they want. Now, here's the thing, right? When it comes to Diz, uh, people are saying, why did he battle under an NDA on his own league? Like, why would he even sign? Why, Diz, Diz, why, 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 huh, huh? Nah, nigga, bullshit. You got some explaining to do, too. You definitely have some explaining to do. Nigga, move, get the fuck over. Get, sit, sit your ass down, nigga. Don't move, man. I got some shit I need to talk to you about, too. Why would you battle under an NDA on your own league? Well, I do have the answer to that question. You understand what hustling is. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're having a problem with a nigga who's from the trenches. Because he know the hustler. He's a hustler. He's know, I know when I'm being hustled. A hustler know when he's being hustled. Uh, the card. Just be honest with you. The card, it was probably like three, four battles that niggas was checking for. I'm be honest with you. It was only a couple battles that was like really, really, really driving this card. And if any of those battles would have got canceled, it would have been the detriment of this joint. Easy versus Disaster is a battle that is literally pushing a lot of the people there. So I seen Diz say, shout out to Diz too, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I see what he was saying as far as Easy not promoting because he was promoting two other events at the same time. Yes, he has the Chrome situation going on, and yes, he has the trenches situation going on, and then yes, he's still blogging, doing his own thing, and yes, he's got all of that. So you gotta kinda know when you get involved with somebody that got a lot going on, that they are gonna be promoting a lot of things at the same time. So that's number one, right? Number two is there was other MCs on the card who did their thing, but they don't have other things going on. Frack went crazy against Award. And, uh, you know, he didn't have three or four battles or league events and shit like that going on. But, but let's get back to the NDA. Uh, Diz is saying that he signed it, 
based off the premise that he wanted the battle to still go on because easy could have pulled up and been on some shit like this outside the venue i'm not battling unless you sign this nda right now i ain't battling but i thought the way nda works is that you're not supposed to say nothing so if Diz is putting it out that he signed one that violates it to begin with i don't like the shits at all i'm gonna just be i don't i don't want to hear about it i don't want to see him i don't want to fucking battles what is it easy what are you playing flag football you can't be out here simulating games i said this shit in other blog you cannot be out here simulating games there's no way it's not gonna work like that no way it won't work like that no 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 now from what i'm hearing is easy standing on the laurels of the nda was about business partners as far as like you can't discuss the financials or where an event is going to be held and shit like that shit like that but uh this is carrying it like another way so i saw some screenshots uh, and one, so somebody got at Diz and said, I respect you as a legend, but you received the wrong info on ARP. You should call him as a man, set your pride aside. Only Rex and Easy deserve this behavior. So then Diz responds and says, false. KFC Colonel leaked info only he knew because I told him it got back to Rex via someone they both knew. I never said he blocked the battle. In fact, the battle was dropping already and then Rex almost backed out because of KFC big ass mouth insinuating Rex can get more at KFC. Um, this would probably be the first time that I heard something like this as far as like from him getting more on RBE because I heard that the battle that was being facilitated wasn't even being done by ARP, you know what I'm saying? It was other people that was involved trying to get him to be on the car. But I never heard that they wanted him to back out of the battle versus Big K. Again, I say it doesn't make sense for him to back out of a battle versus Big K when Big K is RBE's guy. They pushing him. Why would they have his opponent back out? Now, back to this NDA shit. Is it NDA? Is it DNA? DNA, NDA? I fucking don't know. But here's the deal. Uh, Diz didn't honor it. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of bloggers and different media and people. We started hearing rumblings about this. Over the weekend. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too I'm serious too. I'm talking to him and you niggas be sensitive and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. NDA, we started hearing about it. And I said that the only way Diz could kind of like finagle it is if he signed the shit and still did it anyway. Like still talked about all of the issues, still because he still talked about Papoose and Remy Ma at damn near every round. He still talked about the fight, the, the the alleged fight situation every single round. He still talked about it. You know, he had a Papoose shirt on for crying out loud. So he definitely, whatever the terms and conditions, <laughs> whatever the terms and conditions of that potential NDA were, uh, he 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 didn't abide by them. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I saw a, I saw a couple of joints yesterday. I was reading the tweets, and uh, he went even further. Uh, there was other battlers talking about it. John John said, never heard of a battler sending the league an NDA. It's usually the other way around. Shaka Shug said, an NDA before a battle is crazy. LOL. That serious, why even battle? This is what I'm talking about. If it's that serious to where I have to muzzle potentially, allegedly, let's put alleged, let's put allegedly to give some benefit of the doubt when they need a clout. We're gonna say allegedly to allegedly try to muzzle or, or tell somebody what they can talk about. Why battle anyway? I totally agree in regards to what uh, Shaka Sugar is saying. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta have an NDA to say this and not say that and do this and not do that, you might as well not even battle because it's never going to work like that. So uh, ARP goes on and says, pay your battlers, then talk to me. We know. Now, that is crazy because what I'm seeing now and hearing now is that there were like 75 battlers or 80 battlers on the card and everybody got to get paid and pay the day after or two days after or whatever. Niggas are saying that they waiting for their money, you know what I'm saying? Easy response, still waiting as well, he got some nerve, saying that you got some nerve to be on this campaign trying to tear me down, but I still ain't got my, uh, my, my back end yet. Now, I mean, I will say this, some leagues, you know what I'm saying, some leagues, will pay off the payout, you know what I'm saying? So they're expecting to sell a certain amount of tickets or a certain amount of pay-per-views, and then when the money comes in, they make the money, and then they'll pay out, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna say too much about that because it's literally the first business day after the event ended, which was Sunday. I mean, yesterday was Monday, so it's like literally, they still processing and shit like that. But we'll keep our eyes on that. So 
ARP responds to Diz saying, still in cloud mode. Stop pandering to URL. Didn't get didn't you get a cease and desist over blank blank blank? Rex almost dropped the battle because I offered more. We already showed that I never spoke to Rex. We all jumped out the window before, but you showing that you don't know how to shut up and show your honor, basically. You know what I'm saying? Saying that, yo, you ain't we all messed up before. We all, but you ain't you ain't you ain't standing on your laurels. So easy goes as far on to say. If y'all want to see why Diz is so mad, go to guttercity.com to purchase the single battle. I know one truth is I own this battle. What the? You sold? You don't even own the battle? Diz, 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 Diz. What the hell is going on, man? So you mean to tell me why you still pushing a VOD? This nigga owns the battle versus you, and the battle is on his own website for six dollars. Jesus, send the flood. What in the world? What does this nigga be doing to y'all? Like, <laughs> yo, what is he doing to these leagues? Like, how does he get away with, yo, I'm not hating. I'm, I swear to God, I, I'm all for people with their business and pushing their brands and stuff like that. But I don't think I've ever seen a battler get the, their own battle and put it on their website before the VOD is real. They still pushing the VOD. Now it's like, okay, you know, I don't gotta buy the whole shit. I could just buy Easy the Black Captain's battle. This, how did you go for that? Did anything from this battle go in your favor? The niggas got you signing the NDA. Then they taking the footage and he's releasing it on his own website. Is your money being longer worth your life being shorter? Right, now I'm starting to ask the question, like, what the hell? What kind of situation do y'all have? So there's a. Uh, he was tweeting, he said, me, truth, ARP, and easy, turn the camera on as, as far as being triggered. And, you know, um, I, seen a, I seen a tweet, somebody had posted a tweet, and it says, a confidentiality agreement means all communications, documents, and other information pertaining to artists slash company included but not limited to confidentiality remaining related to the artist's family and relatives, including without limitation, artist, spouse, and children, are also the artist's company, agents, acquaintances, businesses, associates, including without limitation or information. It says, and I'm just reading this, you know what I'm saying? I'm just reading this you know, from what I see. It's just a screenshot. I made it on Twitter. Like I said, I ain't looking for this shit, but I will speak on it because I think NDAs are crunchy as fuck, especially if you can't speak about all of this shit that's going on here. Now, did this sign this? I don't know, but he said he didn't agree to it because he did it anyway. It says, the personal life of the artist and the artist's family, relatives, including without limitation, Personal, matrimonial, family relationships, health, medical history, conditions, habits, residences, properties, history, ideas, opinions, beliefs, or personal purchases. Any business, legal, or financial affairs, the company, artists, or the artist's family, including without limitations, contracts, agreements, engagements, collaborations, investments, business relationships, sponsorships, endorsements, branding, marketed ideas, concept, golly! What is going? Jesus said the flood. What can I rap about? What what is this nigga? What what are they gonna be able to rap about? These niggas are gonna have nothing to fucking rap about. Let's just keep it going. Uh, it says uh, music ideas, television, literary formats, outlines, trade secrets, fashion designs, cosmetic choices, or any information relating to the artist, artistic acting, hosting, musical. Pro this shit is a lot, bro. I, travel, security. He's thinking, yo, is y'all niggas turning this shit to the music industry? This is a lot right here. What kind of shit is here? It goes on to say, uh, confidential and private, secret, sensitive. It is imperative for you to recognize and agree that you may require to derive confidential information concerning artist company. Wooty wooty woo. Basically, it's saying that you really can't talk about nothing. You know what I'm saying? And it says that, like, it. Basically, what the paperwork says is that. You sign into that agreement, all of the things that I aforementioned can't be spoke about. That's not battle rap. Now, it might be the music industry or some sort of rap, but it's not battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen, there have been situations where, like, ghostwriters, like, they'll write songs for Puff Daddy or write songs for other niggas and shit, and they can't say how much they got paid. That's, like, why signing an NDA will go into play. Like, if you ghostwrite, for someone's album and they want they pay you but they don't want you to say what you did that happens um a lot of these artists like they be getting with these chicks you know what i'm saying and they want to have them for the weekend or whatever the case may be but they don't want their whole personal life going out and yada 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 and he has a wife and they don't want all of that 
so they make them sign an NDA because they can't say what went on. I've seen certain businesses, when they separate, they make a other business partner, they'll sign an NDA saying, you can't talk about why, it's sep why we separated or why. I've seen this shit. Jennifer Lopez too, you know what I'm saying? I, I think Chris and Bias mentioned that and a lot of other people have. Jennifer Lopez, she give it these niggas, make them sign a fucking NDA. I've seen that. But never, never ever once have I seen it for battle raps. I've seen in contracts before, or I've heard of contracts where you can't talk about certain people. Like I know Goods had it in his contract about his daughter, but that wasn't a NDA. Um, and this, this, this had to leak some way. And what Diz was saying is that uh, Frack had a copy of it when they did the fucking in the battle, they tore it up and blah, 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 blah. But uh, what I will say is this. For the betterment of battle rap, for battle rap to progress and grow and niggas to continue to have authentic raw battles, this if this is the, whatever this is, can't happen. Niggas can't be under the pretense that they gotta sign paperwork to battle because at the end of the day, whatever skeletons or whatever shit you gotta go, they, it's coming out. That's what the battle is for. You know, Tay Rock, that's why you don't. You put your seatbelts on, you know the shit Geechee got. And Geechee got, he's not the person that, that was going, that's gonna get off on. I guarantee, he is not the person that's gonna go for it. Cause Easy and Akichi have been going back and forth today, actually. You know what I'm saying? They was going back and forth online earlier. Uh, let me see if I still got it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they were going back and forth online. And Geechee was basically saying that I'm a bomber, you and your boss for all three rounds. You know what I'm saying? And, and Easy was Easy was basically saying, what I got on you, what I got on you, you know what I'm saying, is gonna be different. No, I can't believe nobody ever used this type of shit. It, 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 <laughs> It's been heating up online, but I'm trying to um, pull this up real quick. So, uh, oh, he says, uh, he says, uh, easy. Geechee says, I've never had restrictions in my battle. At times, I think you forget you talking to my, I'm talking to my son. You followed in my blueprint. I'm actually proud of you. Now, you just keep on writing and I'm going to show up and beat down you and your boss leg for three rounds. And uh, easy responds to Geechee by saying, uh, I don't, I think you forgot who you talking to. These other niggas respect you enough to not talk crazy to you. I'm not a fake nigga, so I say I don't, res to say I don't respect you, but will I lie, that's not going to seem like nothing on the 16th. This will be a talking of all points, I promise you. Like he said, I'm going to talk to you, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, they was going back and forth, you know what I mean? Just going back and forth, back and forth. And, uh, Easy also said, it's a pattern with me. I beat these niggas and they be hurt for weeks doing the most girl stuff invented to man. I'm gonna go back and enjoy my vacation. Easy vs. Diz solo battle will be on my website for purchase tomorrow, $6.99. Support the ball. This nigga Easy's just walking around doing whatever the fuck he wants. Like, like, y'all, how did this nigga have the battle? Somebody gotta answer that. How does he have a whole battle on his individual website and the shit's not on YouTube? It's We, 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 I tell you, boy, battle rap getting crazy as fuck, man. But uh, at the end of the day, I will say this. Uh, Diz, shout out to you and everything you got going on, you know what I'm saying? You put on for GTX, but it's kind of wild that, you know, y'all was all good at the event and before the man playing can land, y'all y'all, y'all on 10, wilding on each other, talking about this, talking about that, talking about him being on vacation, talking about all the shit you couldn't talk about in the battle. And I seen the clip from... Uh, uh, 15 minutes of fame, you know what I'm saying, where you were talking about all of the shit that you couldn't talk about in the battle and things like that, but you did sign it. You did sign it. Now, I'm not saying I don't know why you signed it. I know why you signed it, because you had to save your car. You knew if you jumped in front of that camera and told the world, uh, me and Easy's not happening, blah, 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 half the people that was gonna buy that pay-per-view would've probably been like, you know what I'm saying? Between that and Big K, and all of that, like that just, it was, it was, it was definitely some battles that you need to have happen because some of the guys you got up there, you know what I'm saying, they talking about, I was sucking. No, nah, I'm not, nah, like that ain't that, 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 everybody's got their cup of tea, you know what I'm saying, but a lot of us battle rap, we want to hear the guns blazing, the click of blow, the ch -ch bow. we don't want to, I don't want to hear what you do on your spare time when nobody's around, like that's just, that's a little too much, man. That's a little too crunchy for me. I ain't gonna hold you. But um, I didn't see the GTX's weekend ending like this. Uh, you know, Diz is gonna have his outside stance. 
and Easy's gonna have his stance, you know, and what I'm, what I was getting, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I'm not spending, I'm not in call none of these niggas. I, I don't, I don't care. Everybody's got their own version of the story. I don't. So, but I am speaking on it because it's a relevant topic, and I don't want nobody to be like, oh, Vada ducking the blah blah blah. No, NDAs are whack, and they ain't for battle rap. I don't want to see no battles where niggas can't talk about uh, what color socks you wore. Or, no, I don't want to see that shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. If that's the case, I'm good. But. If an NDA is in place so people don't release like the financials or where the event is going to be located or leaking cards, I understand that because the leagues do have some shit that they want to promote. And it sucks when sometimes promotion gets messed up because people is releasing battles or releasing how much money they made and shit like that. That's one thing. I ain't knocking that. That's business. But once we get outside the line of that, what we talking, you can't talk about the, 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 the neighbor, the dog, and... Uh, what we have for Christmas and shit, or relationships, personal relationships, that's not gonna work. That ain't gonna work. It, it will never. That type of shit, if that comes to that, it's gonna kill battle rap. Because now you gotta muzzle what you say. You know? And the only reason why I'm saying if that happened is because Diz still spoke about whatever he wanted to. So I can't feel like it was a real NDA in a battle. And I'm glad Diz spoke about whatever he wanted to because if he didn't, or if he didn't attack it the way people wanted or thought would be enough, Niggas would have been calling the battle Fugaga anyway. They would have been, niggas would have been all, no, no, no. Jesus said the flood. These niggas is being too friendly. They playing flag football. These niggas is playing flag football. Nobody wants to see that. So I'm glad that it went its way, but it's a lot. Whew, whoa, 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 whoa. I did not expect this. But how the fuck easy get the battle on? This is, this is crazy. Yo, salute to every single one of y'all. I'm out of this bitch. Gang, 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 I don't bang. But this, don't sign no more contracts to have an NDA on your own fucking league. Like that shit look it looks wild. You know what I'm saying? Like you, 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 you let this nigga come to your house, put his feet up on your couch, and then when he leaves, say I'm taking the battle with me too. Like, <laughs> that's a lot of lose, lose, lose situations. I fucks with you, but how did you how did y'all come up to how did this how did all of the terms and conditions not condition to the terms? You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, I'm out, man. But yeah, we not we not doing no NDAs, and we ain't we not doing that shit. I don't give a fuck. It's not gonna happen. I'm out. Bye. Feel like I'm out here by myself, but I'm not alone Cause I done don't mean shit, cause I got it on With a bad bitch, think she it, but she got it wrong Loving now she calling on my phone I was destined for the 